guys, it's Angela with Agency to Custom Creations, and today we are going to be accenting a $3 thrift store find. Um, this is actually a piece I picked up a while back. It's been in my house, been in several rooms, and it's made its way out to the shop. Um, I painted it with Webster's chalk paint powder, made a chalkboard out of it. I just never did get around to accenting the details of it. So we're going to do that today. Um, the word dark wax scare the bejesus out of people, and I get it, because the first time I used dark wax, I didn't think I'd ever use it again. It scared me. Um, there's a few things to remember when you're using dark wax. First of all, I'm using a natural wax today. It's 100% natural. It doesn't contain any solvents or byproducts or anything like that, so there, it doesn't dry really quickly. If you are using a solvent-based dark wax, it's going to dry really quickly, and so keep a clear wax nearby. That's going to act as an eraser. So if you put it on and you don't like the way that it looks, you can add some clear wax to it and take it right off. Now, if you're using like a chalk-based paint, um, your surface is going to be absorbent. So when you put the dark wax on, it's going to soak that up. The, the chalkier, sur chalkier your surface is, the more it is going to absorb that dark wax. So, I always like to put a little bit of clear wax on first. Now, this brush is, I didn't add anything to it. It's just been bagged in the shop, so I didn't add anything. But you want to just put a little bit of wax on there. I'm going to give it a, just a go around, just one quick go around, um, just to get that on there. That will help the dark wax from soaking up really quick into that paint. You can see now it has like a little bit of a shine to it. And then I'm using just a detail brush, the natural bristle brush, just adding a little bit. Now, this is Daddy Vans. It's, this is going to be hitting the market very soon. This is, a, this is the black wax. Absolutely love this stuff. Um, you're going to love it, too. Uh, so let me show you how you do it. You just go in, and you're going to want to push it into your crevices like so. Just shove it down in there. Now, I'm not wanting to like antique or age this piece. I'm just wanting to accent my detail. So, I'm wanting to get it down into those little crevices. And then I'm going to take my rag and go back and wipe off the high point. See how it leaves it in the crevices? So I'm going to go around and do the whole piece like that. those accents, how they pop. Dark wax can be your friend. I'm telling you, it's really, really easy. Don't be afraid. Be fearless. Keep some clear wax nearby just in case you don't like the way it looks. And find some small pieces like this to practice on. Cheap thrift store finds are perfect. Frames are perfect. So have fun with it and share it. If you, if you, if you find something to work on, share it with me because I love to see your projects. So I look forward to it. See you soon.